Okay, so what's up everybody? It's Ro. Welcome back to the second week of Ask Ro. I have a few questions here from um, Jarell Tagbo. I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, congratulations on passing your exams. I know you said you were doing that last week, so good for you. That's what's up. Um, the last movie that made me cry, you wanted to know what that was. Eat, Pray, Love. Um, I thought it was amazing. My first blog was about that movie, so uh, it was really good. Um, let's see, who are your musical influences? Well, of course, uh, Whitney Houston was a major influence for me as a kid, um, but I listened to a lot of music. When I came up, a lot of artists were on the same station, so if you turn on a pop station, it wasn't anything to hear Madonna and Luther Vandross in the same lineup. You know what I mean? But I loved um, DeBarge, Gladys Knight, uh, the Gap Band. Man, it's, it's too many to name, you know? But uh, lots of musical influences, and they, they get more broad as I get older. You know, I, I love jazz, I love world music, I love Latin music, I love a lot of stuff. Okay, uh, what's on my iPod, man? Everything from the world music I was telling you about to an audiobook or meditation CDs. Um, yeah, a lot. <laughs> what do I think of the Christina and Lady Gaga feud? I don't think it really exists. It's uh, based on the research that I did, the little bit I did, I looked online. Um, a lot of it seems kind of fabricated. People are just uh, finding something to talk about, quite possibly uh, one of their camps started a little something to bring attention to somebody's project. I have no idea. Um, but Christina's not indulging in the negativity and I think that's fly, you know. Um, they're both blonde. We're the platinum blonde here. I mean, Christina's been wearing platinum blonde for a minute. So no, I don't think she's copying Lady Gaga. Um, it doesn't surprise me that she's kind of gone into this S&M type thing for this Bionic record. Um, just because Christina has, has pushed the envelope in her pop genre. Um, Lady Gaga, of course, pushes the envelope too. So, I mean, even more so than Christina, but I don't think that Christina's copying her. I think she's just kind of expanding her horizons, and I think that's cool. I like them both, you know, as artists, so I don't think it's anything. Um, guilty pleasures, do I have? What are my guilty pleasures? Um, I like to smoke cigars. And I will enjoy the hookah on occasion as well. A hookah is um, like a water smoking pipe from uh, the Middle East. Uh, I have some friends that are from Jordan and they hooked us up with this bomb hookah pipe. And uh, every once in a while I like to bring it out and have a good time. So those are my guilty pleasures if you, if you call them that. You know? But thank you for your questions. I love them. And uh, feel free to ask away again, and I'll hit them up in the uh, next video blog. Okay, and uh, I'm going to do one more person, Ryan Clemens. He wanted to know, what was it like working with the finest girl group in the whole entire world? <laughs> I guess you wanted to make sure you covered the bases. But um, they were great. It was, it was a wonderful experience. I feel like... Uh, there was a piece of each one of them in me. So there was something in Terry that I related to that I felt was a part of my personality self as well with as with uh, Cindy and Maxine. So it was great. I had wonderful experience. I traveled the world priceless, you know. Thank you so much for your question. And um, just thank you to everybody else for tuning in, if that's what we want to call it. And uh, leave me some questions in my box for next week. Thanks. Peace.